Hello and welcome to week number 36 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. I was going to open by trying to juggle some apples, but I don't actually know how to juggle, so we're just going to bake our bread instead. This is a quick bread recipe, which means there's not a lot of rise time. You're not in this for over two hours, so grab your ingredients and let's bake. Quick breads are supposed to be easy. So the first step is kicking your oven on to 350 degrees. Make sure there's nothing in there if you store things in your oven. I like quick bread because I like bread and I don't like to wait for it. So we have got our oven going to 350. You're going to grease a nine by five loaf pan right here. The other thing about a quick bread is that it's generally more like a batter than a bread. You're going to have a lot of wet ingredients in it. All right, in a large bowl, you're going to mix together sugar, eggs, oil, and your vanilla. I knew I'd get it eventually. It's a whole cup of granulated sugar, two eggs. Put this over here. Try not to make a mess this morning. All right, two eggs half a cup of vegetable oil. Like I said, quick breads are more like a batter than a bread, but that's okay because they're really tasty too. Um, and we need one and one half teaspoons of vanilla. Yeah, that's about it. Or boiled cider of which I don't have any because while I'm saying, yes, it's fall, the universe hasn't quite caught up yet, so can't find that. You're gonna get this all mixed up. Yes, still without a mixer, but that will change next week. So, <laughs> I promise, I promise there'll be, I mean, the other thing about a quick bread is that you don't necessarily need a mixer. It's not a heavy bread dough. All right, in a separate bowl, flowers. In here I have one cup of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of um, wheat flour. I'm going to be adding to that all of our spices and all of the things that are gonna make this feel like fall. Included in that is one fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one and one half teaspoons of cinnamon, I may have added a little bit more, a half a teaspoon of allspice, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half of a teaspoon of table salt. So I'm gonna get that all mixed up together. <laughs> Cat just wandered in wondering what I'm doing at five o'clock in the morning. I'm baking, because that's what we do. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Now we're going to add this to this dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And I'm not gonna add it all at once because again, I'm doing this by hand. So I'm gonna go in thirds here, just mixing to get it incorporated. And watching this cat who really would like for me to pick her up and hold her, but I'm baking, so no. <laughs> So where does the apple come in? Oh my God, no. All of the animals have lost their minds today. Good grief. Um, <laughs> they are not allowed on the counters and they know it. And that one in particular has been really pushing boundaries lately. So where does the apple come in? Not with real apples. We're gonna be using apple sauce. Is there a bread recipe that uses real apples? Yes. Did I almost decide to make that? Yes. Was that going to take five hours? Yes. So this is the one that I settled on. I'm probably gonna make that other recipe too because it's just so pretty. That is the downside to quick breads. They don't traditionally look pretty. Um, they taste great, but you know, it's nothing that you're gonna write home about in the looks department. It's just, it's, it's a satisfying, quick bread that tastes really good. 
Okay, now to this, we are going to mix in our applesauce, which is three fourths of a cup of applesauce. Yep, three fourths of a cup of applesauce going in. And then half a cup of rolled oats or old fashioned oats or quick cooking oats. This is also where you would add your half a cup of chopped walnuts if that's what you were gonna do. I'm not doing that. So it's just gonna be the applesauce and the oats. <laughs> now this really smells like fall. It doesn't look appetizing, but it smells so, so very good. Just gonna make sure I get that all mixed in. Oh my gosh, smells amazing. Doesn't look like much, it, it looks like slop. That's okay. Next, we're gonna pour it into our pan. Let me grab that, it's right here. See, when I said quick bread, I meant quick. Other than the cat distractions, this goes together very, very quickly. And it is very much like a batter, not a bread dough. Now, it takes a while to cook, about an hour. I want my spatula, spatula. I love that wooden spatula, but it's not great for scraping the size of folds. So we are just gonna use the silicone one instead. And boy, now all the cats are awake and they're all going crazy. All right, my oven has not preheated all the way yet, but when it does, 55 to 60 minutes. You're gonna be using the toothpick method to make sure that your bread is done. When it's done, you're gonna take it out of the oven and cool it completely, and I will see you then. Well, my bread only took 55 minutes to bake. I feel like it took a lot longer than that to cool, but maybe that's because I was drooling the whole time. This smells so good, and I cannot wait to see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. This is everything that I want in a fall loaf of bread. It does not have the consistency of traditional bread because it is a quick bread. It is a dessert bread. You can taste the apples. You can taste fall. This tastes like how a day is one of those crisp fall mornings where you get up and you go apple picking. That is what this bread tastes like. It's really good. Well, that is it for week number 36 of the baking challenge. I hope that you had the chance to bake along and I hope that your apple cinnamon quick bread was really good, at least as good as mine, because I'm in love with this and I will be making it again. If you haven't already, you should hit the subscribe button below because I put out one of these videos every single weekend. You can also head over to the Facebook page because most times in the middle of the week, Wednesday or Thursday, I'm gonna put out the ingredient list and the name of what I'm gonna be baking that weekend. That way, if you wanna bake along, you can get your shopping done in time. I'm gonna go uh, eat this bread for breakfast because it's just that good, and I will see you next weekend.